Hey YouTube, it is now quite a bit later. It is almost six o'clock. We went for a little walk this morning. I went west down market for a bit and then came back. It was pretty nice outside. A little bit warmer than usual today. I want to call 75 degrees or high 70s a heat wave, but by San Francisco standards, they're calling it a heat wave. And then I just work the rest of the day. We still have a curfew here in San Francisco. I just got today's daily emergency alert on my phone saying that we still have it tonight. It said in there, curfew is ending Thursday at 5 a.m. I don't know if that means they're not gonna have any more curfews from Thursday onwards. I think they're just kind of taking it day by day. On my walk today though, I mean, it was like broad daylight. It was like in the morning, just on market itself. There wasn't anything weird or special. I guess there were no protests or demonstrations today that I saw anyways. I did not walk past City Hall. Maybe there was some stuff going on there, but it was like a completely normal day when I was out. All right, we're gonna start doing commenting on your comments more often because on Sunday I commented on your comments and I waited a few days to do it. And then it took like 10 minutes to go through all your comments. Not that that's a bad thing per se. I love getting comments from you guys. Please keep commenting and asking questions or just bring up whatever topics you want me to talk about. But I'm gonna go through them more often on the blog so that it doesn't take us like 10 minutes to go through all the comments since last time. Maybe it would just take three minutes or five minutes and that way I can also respond to your comments and questions a lot faster. Let's get started. Mark says hi from Brisbane. Hi Mark. From Christopher, have you looked around the West LA Palms area? West LA Palms into Google Maps. Mm, yes, uh, that is included in my area of search. There's actually a lot of tempting uh, listings in Koreatown, uh, Silver Lake kind of over further east, but I just don't want to be super far away from LAX because I'll need to go to the airport once or twice a month. Pacific Blue, you mentioned an article that I actually had already read because it popped up in my news feed. The rents in the Bay Area have gone down very sharply. 15% in South Bay where Silicon Valley is is down like 9 or 10% here in San Francisco. A lot of the tech companies, the bigger ones, are saying they're willing to let people work remotely in a more permanent fashion. It's stupidly expensive here and people have already started to move out. Not in mass, right? But enough to trigger a 10 to 15 percent drop in the rent. From John, why did you move from Hong Kong to Vancouver? Well, I didn't have a say in the matter. I was very young. My family decided to move. M. John says, now I know what you're talking about. Long ago, my sister used to live near 3rd, near Beverly Center, a part of La Brea. If this is a part of LA that you want to be in, then yes, it is worth the extra cost. Super close to everything. So much shopping and restaurants over there. Yes, that is kind of sort of like the area I'm looking at. So Park La Brea, Beverly Center is kind of sort of in the middle of the larger area that I'm looking in. Christopher, you mentioned some shows that you're watching that is very, very good. Upload where the main guy is hot and then you're also asking if it was the 10 or the 405 over the weekend I said I'm looking at this area in LA north of this big yellow line on Google Maps Which is this major highway, but I didn't know what it was called. It is the number 10 David says, I love series on BBC and ITV, and you list a bunch of them. Oh, you also watch HGTV, yay! Suvet says, are you being affected by the riots? No, I am not because I tend not to leave my house at all. I haven't had to order any food or groceries or had anything delivered in like the last few days. I'm pretty well stocked. I know hours for certain shops are affected. I know the local Walgreens and CVS were closed, the ones that were right around my area, but I haven't had to go to them. M. Johnson, I'm gonna summarize your next one. You're saying you watch a lot of other LGBT videos 
on YouTube. You mentioned a bunch of your favorites. Uh, also, there are a lot of great gay short films on YouTube. And you're also watching other things like firefighting scenes, car chases, commercial tow trucks. One of my favorite things to watch is anything to do with airplanes. There is a TV series called Mayday or sometimes called Air Crash Investigations. They look at different airplane incidents that's happened over the past and it's partially recreating some of it. Partially it's interviewing witnesses and experts. It's also digging into like the engineering and science behind what happened to cause the crash. That kind of thing I find really interesting. Just it's the engineer in me that really likes that kind of stuff. Peace Love and happiness says, if at all possible, do not go with an HOA. They are the devil. You don't want someone telling you what to do all the time. It is something I'm aware of, but if I want a condo and I don't want slash can't afford a house, it's just a fact of life. It's just like taxes. I can't get away from paying property tax on my own property. If you own a condo, you just can't get away from an HOA. One of you says, it looks like you're beginning to lose your hair. Are you using Rogaine or Propecia? I am not. I checked photos of myself from like 10 years ago and this is just the way my hairline is. It's not really receded or like just very minimally. I do have a cowlick that is much more apparent when I don't style my hair or if I have a certain type of a haircut. With this haircut, the cowlick is more apparent because the hair is longer up top and it's like almost this like triangular teepee shape and it kind of accentuates the cowlick more. Therefore, it makes it look like back over here, the hair is going back. But no, my hairline's pretty much always been like this. And my hair is otherwise very, very dense. So no, I am not losing hair, thank you. What's the rush to get to LA? I won't go into all the personal reasons. There are certain things I don't share with you guys. Besides those reasons, I live by a very noisy construction site that starts at 6.30 or 7 a.m. Seven days a week. They apparently don't fucking give up on weekends. It is expensive here. Just go look up rents in San Francisco. The earlier I get out of here, the more money I'm gonna save. Places I've toured in uh, LA, like proper condos, even with the HOAs, even with the property tax, the rent comes up to be like the same as this place or cheaper. David says, yuck, no fixer uppers, hard work and all goes well beyond the original budget. I've had people that have fixed up their houses before, like did major renovations. I think it is a bit risky, but I don't think it's always a bad idea. Are your eggs from Paige, battery hens, or free running? They're like organic eggs and they're like some sort of free range. I haven't read all the fine print on it. Sweetfest says, stay safe, stay home. I will try my best. Christopher, this is our last Last comment of the day. Currently, hotels are only taking a reservation for essential workers and manage your property to Palo Alto. Leisure travel is included in the governor's phase three. Thank you for that update. Doesn't look like I'm going anywhere soon anyways. The song is called You're Perfect and it's by Jacob Whitesides. He is a singer songwriter. I don't know what kind of genre exactly this is. This is more like acoustic guitar, vocal. Just go Google his music. All right, YouTube, usually by this time the vlog is uploading. It is nine o'clock basically. I had to finish up a little bit of work and then I am cooking some, I see that, cooking some chicken and I'm just gonna wind down for the night. Today was kind of cool to just go for like a walk like that. Hopefully the riots and the protesting and all that stuff remains peaceful and then we get the curfew lifted and then I can have nice jogs this coming weekend. I am going to, well, you can't tell right now, but oh my gosh, the dog, it's a puppy. Oh, it's not a puppy, it's just a skull. Okay, anyways, I'm watching more dog rescue videos because dogs are so cute. Sorry that this video is kind of long, unless you guys like longer videos. What do you guys think 
is the optimal length for the vlogs. I try to keep it eight to 10 minutes, so it's not like a lot to watch every single day. But especially when I answer you guys' comments, I get really carried away. I trimmed a lot of my talking out of the comments segment. The raw recording was 25 minutes of just me commenting on your comments. So I'm gonna do that more often so that we can do all your comments, but in small manageable chunks pretty much every single day until tomorrow. Bye YouTube.